The Nelson-Lenzer gives us a dictionary between algebra and geometry. It allows us to think of algebraic sets inside the affine space as ideals of the polynomial rings. We'll discuss the full Nelson-Lenzer in the next video. In this video, let us just focus on the weak Nelson-Lenzer. That is, let us just focus on the question of how should we think of points in affine space algebraically. Now observe that to every point in affine n space, we can associate the ideal of functions vanishing on it. We claim that the ideal of all functions vanishing on this point a1, an must be of this form, and that this ideal here is the maximal ideal of the polynomial ring. So let's see why that is. Now first of all, observe that clearly these functions vanish at this point, so this ideal is contained inside the ideal of function vanishing at the point A. On the other hand, this ideal here is maximal because the quotient of the polynomial ring by it is a field. Right, because we can find this quotient by replacing this xi by ai and we get the field k, so this ideal must be maximal, and thus by maximality this ideal here must equal to the ideal of all functions vanishing at A. We can think of this ideal as the kernel of the evaluation at A map from the polynomial ring to k. Thus we have a way of associating to every point in the affine space a maximal ideal. Now since we are interested in forming a dictionary, we want to see whether or not we can actually think of maximal ideals as points. So naturally we want to ask, is every maximal ideal the ideal of functions vanishing at some point in the affine space? Is every maximal ideal of this form? Well, the answer turns out to be no in general. For example, if we look at the polynomial ring over the reals in one variable, then the ideal x squared plus 1 is a maximal ideal that is not of this form. There are two ways you can see that this is a maximal ideal. One way is to see that x squared plus 1 is irreducible, and since this polynomial ring is a UFD, uh, any ideal generated by an irreducible element must be a maximal ideal. Or alternatively, you could do what we just did before, we take the, you could take this quotient of Rx by this ideal, and you see that that's isomorphic to a field, so this ideal must be maximal. From both of these arguments, you see what the issue is. The thing is, this ideal does, in a sense, correspond to points, but the points do not lie in R. The, this ideal correspond to two points, I and minus I, and they lie in C. Thus, this issue can be resolved if we look over algebraically closed field instead. Thus, we claim that if k is an algebraically closed field, then we have a bijective correspondence between maximal ideals of the polynomial ring in n variables over k and points in the affine n space over k. To every point, we can associate the ideal of functions vanishing at the point, which we have established is the maximal ideal, and conversely, to every maximal ideal, we can associate its sets of zeros in the affine space. So now, let us show that every maximal ideal of the polynomial ring must be of this form. Indeed, let m be a maximal ideal of this polynomial ring. Then, as before, we take the quotient of the polynomial ring by m, and that should give us some field. Observe that this field is finally generated as a k-algebra, we claim that that would mean that this L must be algebraic over K. Actually, this result is often cited as the weak Nelson-Lenzer instead of the statement that we gave. We'll prove this in a moment, but let us see now why that would imply that this maximal ideal must be of the form that we mentioned. Right, so since this field L is a finitely generated K algebra by this theorem here, we know that L must be algebraic over K. But we have assumed that k is algebraically closed, so we know that L must be equal to k. In other words, we have an isomorphism from this quotient to k. If we let ai be the images of the xi, then we see that this map is just evaluation at the point a1, an, and m is just the kernel of that. So as we have established before, m is just going to be generated by xi minus ai. And thus we see that when k is algebraically closed, every maximal ideal of the polynomial ring 
must be of this form. Thus, we have a bijective correspondence between points of the affine space, that is the content of the weak Nelson-Stelenza. Next up, we're going to prove this theorem, which we used in our proof of weak Nelson-Stelenza. For that, we would need no term normalization, so we'll also talk about that. And in the video after that, we're going to discuss the strong Nelson-Stelenza.